Kenny Omega feeling it from the sold-out crowd here at the Capital One Center. Wait a minute. Omega senses something's wrong. Oh, there's something wrong, all right. Oh, there's something right. John Moxley here to assault Kenny Omega, and this rivalry continues. Moxley dumping Omega to the outside, and a kick to the kidneys by Mox as he sends Omega over the barricade. Moxley unpredictable, unjointed, unfettered. Yeah, and nuts. The fight on the outside. The referees lost complete control of this six-man tag team match, largely thanks to John Moxley. And Moxley and Omega fighting out outside in this sold-out arena. Man, they're, they're out here in no man's land of those two. We'll try to keep up with as best we can, but we've got a match going on back in the ring. Yeah, we, we got a three-on-two now in the ring, Jim. Big disadvantage for the for the young Bucks. That's right. They're Jer by themselves. Jericho's team is fully intact. But thanks to Moxley, the uh, elite are going to be a man short. Yeah, power play situation here for Santana Ortiz and the AEW World Champion Chris Jericho. And Omega, oh, jamming Moxley. Well, they said he could wrestle a broomstick. And a mop. And the cleaner. Over in the uh, the VIP area, there's a VIP area. There was. What was what I told him about that? And God, look at this! Just repeatedly bashing Omega's head into the into that steel door. I'm surprised we haven't had an intervention by the by the uniform security. I mean, Moxley's unhinged, man. We talked about that. He's unpredictable. He has no conscience. And Moxley, oh no! Uh, therefore, oh, yes. he is. Oh no, no! Oh, no. Not a glass coffee table! Oh no! Charge of glass, good God! We gotta get this, get this under control! Get some help Save back here! Dead. Get some help! Save Save the ladies and gentlemen, these two men are hurt and we'll be right back! Oh. Oh, the, heel, the heel slap, the slap the heel of the hand. Left hand, come, left hand coming in hot, and the the teeth there. Oh, oh, and Moxley! Great follow through with that clothesline. Yes, it was. That was the key to that, that follow through, Jim. Good call. Good shot by Moxley. Still uh, dealing with Tully Blanchard there. Oh, ducked under the lariat. Looking for the paradigm shift. Spears! Oh! He could win it here. Me oh, here. Far left. Look out. Two. Oh, no! Oh, Moxley barely able to get up. He shoved the head of Spears up. And that got the, the break of the pin that time. Are you learning anything here scouting these gentlemen, uh, Pat? Am I learning anything? You're scouting. You're dusty, Jim. You should be ashamed. I am sorry. I, I am dusty. It is worth mentioning that no matter who wins this match, neither man will have a better record than Pat. I got it. I'm with you. I'm not oh. against you. I would have said that. And yet, and yet here I am. I should be in the center of that squared circle. Week two, AW Dynamite, but here I am. I'm gonna chit chat. Oh, Moxley took that shot! That's it, that's gotta be it. Look at that leg! Turn the show around. Oh, time. winner of this match. Fat Sean Sean joining us. Moxley! Yeah, I know. Let's be that pleasure. You see, it's the holidays, baby. Yeah, right. That was a, that was a tremendous win by Moxley, but you guys gotta agree that Sean Spears really came to fight in this match. He had glimpses of a new Sean Spears. Yeah, aggressiveness. Yeah, right. Moxley lifting. He's been through hell. Again, his body is still a, getting back to 100%. He can't be at 100% right now today. Sean Moxley picking up his first. Oh! Oh, oh my oh, God. Here. Kenny Omega. Eddie. Omega and Moxley may have a date with destiny. Good Lord. Kenny Omega with a, it looks to be a barbed wire bat and a, a barbed wire broom. Apropos for the cleaner. Well, the 
let's keep everybody informed. Our, our broadcast partner tonight has got off headsets. Now look, at, look how slow and, and, and Moxley is making his way towards him. It's a frozen rope between the eyes of Moxley and Omega. It's like they're walking to third pair. Oh, oh, oh. Change your weapon, gentlemen. Yeah, pick your poison. Pick your poison. Omega's ready to fight Moxley. Weapons, whatever you want, right here, right now. Omega with that tail jump. Look out, look out. is very upset about this, and understandably so. Maybe Pat did not a favor. You're in one favor, but a favor nonetheless. Well, we saw an alliance form last week at the end of Dynamite. Perhaps we've seen a second one with Pac and Moxley. Well, we got to get out of this. Get some action. The referee's out here. Security somebody. we got to... That could be, could be a lot worse than we're seeing right now. Barbed wire bruised, barbed wire bats. Are you kidding me? There's casualties here, you gotta believe. Omega the far away look in his eye, but can he, can he face up? Oh Take yeah. Take care of business with Moxley, here we go. Like two rams. You can feel the chemistry, you can feel the tension, and the physicality is brewing over. That's right, they're, they're so much alike in many ways. These adversaries teeing off on one another. Oh, make it the better of the situation with the fist. Oh, she goes down. Oh, there's a difference maker. And the knee, another retaliation. Oh, bang with the oh, feet right. The strikes. Oh, oh, inside out, upside down. Moxie just turned Omega. But did you see how Omega actually landed on top of Moxley? That may have inadvertently bought him some time. Man, if that wasn't a slobber knocker, there's wow. no such thing. That was as toe-to-toe -to -toe as you'll ever get. Man, it just, it just illustrates better than we could ever say the intensity, the physicality, and what we're going to see in Baltimore. And the, and our next paper. Oh, oh, it just so happened. Oh, look here. Yeah, we're thinking alike. They brought out the plunder. <laughs> if you will. There you go. This is, oh, this is yeah. absolutely awesome. Yeah. It really is. We could be seeing a preview referee. of Full Gear in Baltimore, oh. Maryland. It's a tough thing for the referee here because he's got to protect his own, his own self. Yeah, Bryce Rensburg said enough. Yeah, it's just not good. It really isn't, folks. These are barbed wire. Oh! And, and look at this, Pack coming in with the broom and, and oh, sending it outside. Pack, Pack. And, Pat unarming his partner and his adversary. He doesn't want to get disqualified. Use your head, he's saying. I want the winner. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh that shit on his own partner. Moxie just dropped his own partner with a tip finger salute. The unpredictable, in battle, John Moxley has betrayed his own partner here. But how can that not be a surprise? No, no, there's no surprise here when you think about what's going through Moxley's mind. And now, Pat is at the mercy of two men here. It's a handicap match. Oh, buckshot, Lariat. That Lariat sighting pack. Man, Page brought that Lariat to play tonight. It's been an impact, a difference maker. And now Kenny Omega. Building a head of steam. Bang with the V-trigger. Right in the temple. Right back into Hangman Page. Dead eye. One, two, three. Right Moxie took his ball. It became somewhat active. And that is it. It's a time limit draw. TV time Ladies remaining and gentlemen, has expired. TV time has expired. This match is a draw. Well, that's unfortunate. Because these guys kicked it in the high gear from the moment they walked down the ramp. Unrivaled intensity between Pack and Moxley. 20 minutes of intensity, and they couldn't settle it. I understand Moxley's frustration. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, my gosh.
Moxley has snapped. What the hell is John Moxley thinking? That's going to cost him some money. And John Moxley is incensed. Control. Yeah, Pac looking for some plunder underneath the ring. He got some plunder, all right. Introducing a steel chair. That's what that's what put Moxley in such dire straits from the outset. Steel chair to the back. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Man, somebody needs to stop this yeah. now. Hey, hey, hey. Somebody, Ref, where are the referees? Somebody needs to stop this now. Security. Somebody needs to stop this damn thing from happening now. And wait, there's Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega. Omega. They're gonna fight. They're gonna fight at full gear. What? I'm confused. Though. Well, I'm, I'm confused too, but Omega did the right thing. But now Omega has a battered and broken John Moxley at his mercy. Well, he's returning a favor. If you can, we can just go back and think about it. Moxley's returning the favor, and maybe he's gonna say. Your debt is full. I've done, I've fulfilled everything I need to do for you, Moxley. Omega tossing that chair away. Like I won't, I don't want to beat damaged goods. Once you're on your feet at full gear, in, right? Yeah. That's the type of competitor Kenny Omega is. He wants Moxley at his best. And these Titans, and there's, oh. there's the bastard Pac trying to intervene again. And boom! Omega and Moxley having none of it, turn to face each other again. And now free of distractions, these two titans squaring off. Man, something's got to give here. Look, it's Hangman Adam Page! Adam Page stalking. The bastard pot. The business between Page and Pack, obviously unfinished. Listen to this crowd. A lot of movable parts here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you that, but nothing more volatile than John Moxley and Kenny Omega. Well, I think Pack did the smart thing here, making a hasty retreat, and Moxley. And Omega seemed to have. Well, Omega sees it, does the math. Kenny and. Back where you're going, huh? You going to get me a beer? and no lawsuits. The grudge them. match. Everybody wants to see November 9th at full gear. Kenny Omega and John Moxley is now an unsanctioned match. That means no time limits, no count outs, no disqualifications, no rules. And that's all well and good. But then they want to tell me that unsanctioned means officially this match doesn't even count. Officially, this match will be stricken from the record book. Technically, this match isn't even taking place. So in other words, 
when John Moxley beats your boy, the so-called greatest wrestler in the world, Kenny Omega, we're just gonna pretend like it never happened. know what's going on here. See, AEW wants to treat me like some kind of freak. They want to treat me like some kind of outsider. They want to try and put me in my little box over here so I don't cause any trouble. I know what's going on. I've been dealing with this my whole life. I've been dealing with this for years. I got these suits, these yes men, these puppets come up to me and they say, John, we know you're a different type of cat. As if I don't know what that means as if I don't know when I'm being insulted, as if I don't know you're trying to call me stupid to my face. Well, I ain't stupid. And if this is how it's gonna be, AEW, you can take your win-loss record and shove it straight up your ass. Cause the truth is, the undeniable fact is, I am the baddest son of a bitch in this game. I am the sickest son of a bitch in this game, and there ain't a damn soul in AEW who's gonna come out here and try to prove me wrong. Where's got a point? You want unsanctioned? They want unsanctioned, huh? I'm unsanctionable. You want unsanctioned? I'm unsanctionable. I'm out of control. You think I'm out of control? You ain't seen nothing yet. Be careful what you wish for. On November 9th at Full Gear, I'm gonna beat Kenny Omega within an inch of his life. On November 9th at Full Gear, you are gonna see beautiful, glorious wrestling violence, the likes of which we haven't seen in this country in decades. Kenny Omega's blood will be on AEW's hands. And I got a message. I got a message for AEW. I got a message for these Turner execs who don't want to sanction me. I'll tell them the same thing I told those suits, those puppets, the same thing. I would tell teachers the same thing. I would tell the cops the same thing. I would tell anybody who doesn't like the fact that I march to the beat of my own drum. And it's real simple. Kiss my ass, stay the hell out of my way. will never, ever forget. What a battle, what a war. Man, Omega Moxley. Nobody in the company wants anything to do with it. And there you see why. Got the barbed wire broom. 
stalemate yeah. in the ring with yeah. the weapons. Key words of barbed wire. Barbed wire in the face. That's what you're going to get here. Jericho and Cody still fighting. Here comes Santana and Ortiz. Oh! Knocking Moxley into Omega. Now the inner circle attacking both Omega and Moxley. Oh, now they have the weapons. Oh, my God, that's right. Here come the Bucks. Here come the Bucks. The Young Bucks making their way. Swinging a miss. Oh, the Bucks. Got set the stone. Some measure of revenge and the animosities, the, the, the tension, the passion. We're sitting all here. Ortiz biting the face of Nick Jackson and the officials trying to restore some order. It's an unabridged brawl. Man, the gasoline is being poured. Oh no, no, they're gonna, they're looking for the, the power bomb. This is what they did to Ricky Morton last week. Oh my God. No, no! Oh, he saved his life right there. Omega the safety trigger bag right on the money! Mark's look at Parasite shift! It's every man for himself! Oh, here they go! Here they go! That's what you came to see right here! It will be the lights out Saturday! My God, the physicality! It will not be for the weak at heart! They are fighting all the way to the tunnel, and now the Bucks and the crowd are powerful! This fight, Luke Hager getting involved in this. MJF hanging on. And, and look at Nick. Nick is up on top. Nick is ascending to the top of the ramp. What the hell is he doing? Nick Jackson. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bodies are everywhere. Looks like a wreck on 85 out here. Yeah, one of the bodies, the cameraman. Control. How many times have you seen guys head to the ring? They're get out of the frame. These guys are willing to pay the supreme price, and that is their careers to get at each other. Look at these battle lines have been drawn. Signs have been taken here. Something's got to give. Bodies may be broken. Dreams could be shattered. And here oh, they go again. Here they go again. Here they go again. I'm loving this. What a preview of 79 full gear, pay per view. Don't pull him off, let him go. It's completely out of control. What's it gonna take to stop these fights that are all over the arena? Ladies and gentlemen, it's this Saturday night. There's only one way to see it, and that's on pay per view. We'll see you Saturday night in Baltimore. Purveyor of violence. You're saying it doesn't count. Yeah, technically it won't count against your win-loss record. It's going to be a great match, but we can't be responsible for what happens. We have to make it a lights-out match. You're kidding me, man. I'm Win sorry. over Kenny Omega. I've been working for this. I've been working for this for months. Ever since I showed up here, I had the balls to go after the top guy, your boy. And now you say it doesn't count. I'm unsanctionable. What happens to Kenny Omega is now on your hands. All right. His ass is on the line because of you. I only know one speed. I put my foot on the gas pedal and I press it to the floor. For a while, that got taken away from me. And I'm never going to let it get taken away again. You know, you got this guy who's got all this hype behind him. Oh, he jumped ship. He came from the largest promotion in the world. Everybody was talking about John Moxley. The world was talking about John Moxley. The legend of Kenny Omega, the greatest wrestler that ever lived. The Rembrandt, the Van Gogh of professional wrestling. I know that you want to make a statement probably more than anyone. 
and that fuels me. Everyone wants to be the best, right? Right? Okay, everyone wants to be the best, they want to be called the best, they want to be the hot topic of the moment by taking it out on me. Hmm? That where you came from, what you stand for, who you are, is better than the person that people call the best in the world. Kenny Omega the myth seems to think I'm some kind of joke. And I assure you, it's not going to be the least bit funny when I break jaw. You are gonna see beautiful, glorious wrestling violence, the likes of which we haven't seen in this country in decades. I'm gonna beat Kenny Omega within an inch of his life. Do you know how many people from where you come from wished that they could try to prove themselves with me that I'm better than what you guys had over there. The undeniable fact is I am the baddest son of a bitch in this game. Unsanctioned, they want unsanctioned. I'm unsanctionable. Just like I'm